The transmission uses three shafts to transfer power from the engine to the drive shaft. The input shaft and the counter shaft rotate together at the same speed as the engine. The speed of the output shaft is determined by the ratio of teeth on the gear set used to drive it. Here, the engine rotates at one and a half times the speed of the output shaft. This transmission has two additional gear sets. The cluster gears are attached rigidly to the counter shaft, but the driven gears ride on bearings and rotate independently. The gears along the main shaft rotate at four different rates. The output shaft can be made to turn at any of these four speeds by locking it to the appropriate main shaft gear. Dog teeth are machined on the face of each main shaft here. And the hub is rigidly attached to the output shaft. The output shaft can be locked to the gear by moving a sleeve across both the hub and the dog teeth of the gear. Now they move as one. By moving the sleeve between neighboring gears, the output shaft can be driven by either one. Adding another hub to the output shaft enables the use of all four main shaft gears. For reverse, a gear is fixed to the output shaft and an idler gear is added. Two forks do the work of moving the sleeves. The driver manipulates a rod to control the position of the sleeves.
To prevent multiple shafts from being engaged, a guard is added that follows the ship rod. 